if the son of Adam, man, had a valley full of gold, لو أن لابن آدم واديا ملأ من ذهب أحب إليه ثانية. If the son of Adam, man, had a valley full of gold, the words of full are not just my translation, it's in the hadith. Wadiyan mal'am min dhahab, a valley full of gold. Now, in order to understand the hadith, think, think of the words, picture the words of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, visualize them. Gold is worth a lot. Gold is the one solid, stable currency. And for the past few years, ever since the credit crunch, gold has risen exponentially in value. Since everyone is relying on the safe investment of gold, you can't go wrong with gold. The property market crashed because of the credit crunch. So the safe haven for most people is gold. And that's why the price of gold has risen exponentially. And we measure gold by ounces and grams. Grams of gold. We're not talking about one ring. We're not talking about jewelry. We're not talking about a purse full of gold. We're not talking about gold sovereigns. We're not even talking about one gold bar. We're not talking about a tray of gold bars. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, a whole valley between two mountains filled with gold. If man had that, what would he do? He would desire a second valley. And if he was given a second valley of gold, he would desire a third valley to add to his two valleys. Then the Prophet وسلم, says, وَلَا يَصُدُّ جَوْفَ بْنِ آدَمَ إِلَّا الدُّرَابُ وَيَتُوبُ اللَّهُ عَلَى مَنْ تَابُ And nothing will fill the cavity and the vacuum in man except the dust of the earth. Man has this vacuum and this cavity that he wishes to fill with material possessions. And the possession of highest and greatest value is gold. But even one valley, even two valleys, even three valleys of gold won't be able to fill that cavity in man. The only thing that can fill that cavity in man is the soil of the earth when he is buried.